Howdy, howdy, Sue Devil here, and welcome back to my legendary Ungram Iron Fist campaign. Now, before we continue and before I forget, I got a note from Vaughn uh, about his uh, his uh, master engineer's name. I'm just named her after him, Vaughn Thomas, and he he sent a note when he tends to grow his beard out a little bit. Uh, his missus notices that it's. I don't like kissing a thistle, which is fantastic. So he asks for his name to be his dwarf name to be Thomas Thistlebeard, which is awesome. So we absolutely gotta change that because it's fantastic. So Thomas Thistlebeard. <laughs> great name, great dwarf name, love it. All right. Uh, so we got Thomas Thistlebeard heading up to this army. Also, I almost forgot, we did get our, um, our, our Hall of Oaths built, so we should be able to recruit, yes, another Thane. So look, enemy heroes, success chance, minus 20%, confident, leadership plus two for the whole army, and construction cost. So I like that leadership plus two for the whole army. We'll get Lun Deepbrow, and we'll recruit him, and, oh, we're rank 7. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll get training, uh, Blade Master, hard to hit, and uh, we'll, we'll keep him moving up. And we're, we're going to send Lun into this army as well, so I'm going to send him this way. So he can get up into uh, Elmador Getgold's army. And we'll have the Master Engineer and a Thane in with our Rune Lord. Rune Lords do need a little bit more support. So it is very nice to have a Thane in that army with him. So we'll keep that going. Um, oh, geez. Oh, and you know, I forgot to go and send a guy to Prague. You know, I do want to work on these um, quests. Like the, you know, i got to move a character to Eastern... Oblast, which is right here, but I forgot to send a guy there. And I... I looked at, you know, doing an assassination, but it's just it's just not going to happen. So we got Birnoth, the Knuckle Breaker, is going to go meet everybody. And we'll get that going. We've got some buildings, Eastern Sylvania. Uh, what do we got? Two turns until a surplus. Do I need to build this? Probably not. And we do have a rebellion right here, which isn't really a big deal. Castle Drakenhof has an excellent garrison. And we got this army recruiting. Because we, we do want to get down here to help Thorgrim. Because he's just he is just under a ton of pressure here from the Greenskins. We want to go take Mount or help him get back the Silver Road so we can start trading with him again. We do want to keep our dwarven allies strong in the south and I think I'll keep an army down here if I can we do chaos hasn't come to the north yet but they're gonna be coming sooner rather than later I would guess and uh, we do have this this uh, Skaven army but remember we've got uh, rat poison so we cause fear when fighting against Skaven all characters do so all of our characters cause fear when sk fighting Skaven I don't know if that'll show up or not uh, battle effect, cause fear when fighting Skaven, we'll see. Leadership, 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 missile damage, expert charge defense. Doesn't say here, campaign effects, world roots, fish and casualties, da -da 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 -da, public order, untainted. No, it doesn't say uh, fireball. I'm just looking to see if it says causes fear when fighting Skaven anywhere. It doesn't. So, hopefully it works. We have Sergei heading up to Kislev to help defend against Morlock here and Kislev has a good garrison so they'll be able to hold out for some time for sure oh we have, we have plenty of time to get there we can probably get there next turn yeah we can support next turn for sure if we need to I would rather get there get into in camp stance so I can get the plus five leadership and plus five melee defense for all of my troops which I think would be fantastic uh, well just it'll just make it that much easier and hopefully hopefully the, um, Empire retakes Kemperbad because if they take Kemperbad or probably even Grunberg 
and they resettle those, we can trade with them again because that is a problem. And what is this to repair? It's only 1336. Income generated 200. Yeah, so so we're losing a little bit of income and growth by not doing that. Uh, I'm going to save my gold because I'm going to need it for Elmador here to finish recruiting. And we'll go for there. Now, I've had a long think about this fight here. We're probably going to get sieged by Eugene uh, Gerhoff, Melchior von Sinkler, and Helmut Gorsch simultaneously on the next turn. So even though it shows that I'm definitely recuperating, I'm not going to get that full turn of recuperation. So it would make sense for me to go fight Helmut Gorsch right now while he is in forced march because he's going to be coming onto the battlefield tired which you know will make a difference it'll make them crumble a little faster but he has a he has a pretty decent army it's going to be good no matter what the thing is if i let them take me or i let them siege i can lightning strike out and get the help of the garrison and the garrison is not fantastic but oh, we have two wall breaches i mean would i rather defend the walls you know, they could probably attack right away. He's in force march. I mean, I could go try and take Obastire. No, obastire has got a, got a good garrison. And they have walls in Obastire. So I could, I, uh, I mean, I could take it, but uh, then I'm going to have Helmut Gorst coming in right behind me. So I have two turns until the walls are built. Ah, I'm just vacillating back and forth. And I had a long think about this. You know, it's... Would, would it be better for like if I take him he's definitely going to retreat but I won't kill everyone which is really extremely annoying but then I'm going to have to well I will only have to face one of these three armies because I'll lightning strike and they'll all go so maybe I take a chance and wait if they if they don't attack me I go and attack them lightning strike them for sure if they do attack me I can get the support of the garrison and these guys are all full health. I do have a Master Engineer and a Thane. We have some Quarrelers and Thunders, and we do have some Longbeards. Like, putting them out front to take the, the lion's share of the damage while our our own Quarrelers go to work, because we have some outstanding Quarrelers. They're rank 9 and rank 8, and we have rank 9 Thunders, and we do have the Goblobber. Might be the better choice. I mean, I, I just, I really don't know. Is there anything else I can do here? Ungram can move and that's it. So I have to make a decision. Hmm. Waldenhof? What can I build there? Oh right, this. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna do that building. I think I'm gonna let him siege me. Then I will get the then I will face one of these three armies. I can probably pick which one and lightning strike them and then the other ones will go. So we'll end the turn. We'll see if they siege me. If they siege an attack, that's not as good a scenario, but I should be able to defend the defend the, the walls. We'll see. I don't know. Might have been it might be a bad decision, might be a good decision, we'll see. If if they don't attack or siege right now, this very turn then it is a good decision. If they do, it's a wash. I mean, I don't know. I guess if they destroy my army in there, that would be really bad. But both my characters are immortal, so I wouldn't lose my, wouldn't lose my runesmith, and I wouldn't lose my hero. I would just lose a really awesome army. Okay, Thorgrim went for a walk and then came back for whatever reason. Oh, it looks like they lost in Karak Izor. Karak Izor has been really robust. I mean, they have a very good garrison there. They're probably going to siege Karaza Karak now. Yep. Hmm. 
Krasikrak has a pretty decent garrison too. And Wurzag is turning tail and running. Okay, so he's going to join up with the rest of his troops. Or the rest of the greenskins. We'll see where he ends up going. Okay, what about the Wa? Got Sly moving away. And there we go. Crooked Moon. Oh, looks like the mutinous gets are gone. Which is weird. How dare you darken my hall, Oskala. Oh. Oh, you want peace now, do you? Hmm. Do we want peace? I mean... Carl's gonna keep coming. I could still go down and fight Isabella. They don't have a capital. And we are not military allies with... We are trade partners with... We are trade partners with Empire, but we're not allies with them. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just see what Okay, so there I can get a little more more out of them. They have a lot of gold. What do you give me four thousand? Oh. What do you give me six thousand? Moderate. How about five thousand? High. How about seven thousand? Low. How about six thousand? How about five thousand five hundred? Hi. Well, I guess we go to 6,000. So 6,000 gold. They will probably accept that. We get don't have to worry about Ungram. He will definitely recuperate. We can head down and take the second bit of our province. We can deal with the rebellion there. And uh yeah, they're at peace with the dwarfs right now as well. Hmm. I could do that. I mean, that's six thousand gold. I I do. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind going and finishing off this part of the province and making sure I get to fight Isabella and even Vlad would be nice. And I will only be missing one one of the province which isn't too bad and I can deal with this and that 6,000 gold will come in handy hmm and they're probably going to lose to Empire anyways I think it's I think actually this is a this is a prudent move so we're gonna take it okay Peace for now, vampires. Now get out of my land. And we can develop Drakenhof, Tempelhof, and we don't have to worry about Essen, Eschen, or Waldenhof, which is all good news. And they can go fight Empire. Well, they've taken the moot. Which will keep Empire busy. I mean, Empire is strong enough. And then we can go after the Von Karsteins. Definitely want to take Schwarzhofen. And we definitely want to fight Isabella. So we may have to kill Vlad to get Isabella on the field. I don't necessarily want Grenstadt. But I definitely want Schwarzhofen. And Schwarzhofen should be easy enough to take. And, and we'll see. Um, Vlad shouldn't have that good of an army. He does not... I don't think he has a capital city. Okay, King. And you know, I looked. King Saketka is actually giving me untainted wherever he's going. He has untainted plus two, which is good. So wander through my lands all you want. <laughs> as long as you don't attack anything, I am fine with it. 
All right there, backstabber. Okay, here we go. So they probably have artillery. Okay, they're not attacking on the first turn, which is good. We will definitely take a look. Okay, settlement besieged. There we go. Raiding. We've got improved blasting charges. Good. Um, research available. Now, steam drills, an extra 5%. I think I, sh I think the tool makers might be worth more right now, and it's only for four turns away. So I think we'll go ahead and get that tool makers skills because we've got a lot of trinket makers. Like, So we'll, we'll actually pick that up now early. That is only four turns away. And we have 113 oath gold. Now, Tempelhof. And we've if we pick up uh, Swartzhofen, we can build a we can build our ah we go here we get upkeep for rangers bolt throwers grudge throwers but we can also recruit plus three ranked rangers dwarf quarters and that kind of stuff so we can get our rangers out of here and we can change everything up here so we'll keep pushing that up Ah, we got to be really careful with our gold. Okay. Now. What? Huh. We just got to find a way to trade with the Empire. Well, they just got to... Oh, they took Kemperbad, so we should be able to trade with the Empire again. So let's go to trade. What? Where's Empire? The nation calls. Okay, we're trading with... We sh Kemperbad, Wurtbad... Eschen, Taleb Talibheim, like this is a clear path. Why do we not have trade income? We're straight through to Elf or Eltdorf. We got Eltdorf, Kemperbad, Wurtbad, Talibheim, and then these are our territories right territories right here in Betchhaven. Is this? Empire? No, that's Binland. Why the hell can't we trade with them? I just do not understand what the heck is going on. I mean, I could go and take Obastire right now and just finish these guys off, and that should get me there, but... Yes. What kind of army is that? I don't know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> let's go see... Oh, we can we can upgrade Ashen. I definitely want to get that going. Okay, how about Waldenhof? No, don't want to worry about that. Drakenhof. Okay, this army right here. Let's just. I'm not going to attack them. I just want to get an idea of everything that's in their army. Okay, they have storm vermin, which are strong. Plague Mike monk sensor bearers. These guys are tough. Storm vermin with halberds. They're armor piercing. Clan rat spears, clan rat spears, death runners. These guys are, are pretty deadly because they have that weeping blade minus 50% armor. Oh my god. Look at these warp lightning cannons. Well, they all do magic damage. And they have a plague claw catapult and a doom wheel. They all do magic damage, and fortunately for us, we do have. Uh, Sergei is on a. He does have Locus of Power, 15% Magic Resistance. So I can get there right now this turn, but I can't get inside the... Vengeful Let's just Lord. see, how far can we get? I can get right to here. Yeah, let's get over to here. Setting off. Because then I can get there and attack next turn. 100% for sure and if he attacks me I mean I have uh, that extra 15% magic resistance I'll take that fight against this army it'd be a tough fight with all that artillery but I can actually put my Bugman's Rangers in I can Vanguard deploy them and go after their back lines I mean that's that's a lot of artillery and my artillery will do a number on their storm vermin as well so Murloc Gracier, okay. Betch Haven. Sylvestra. 
Oh, okay, we definitely want these. We'll spend on that wall. And we'll spend on that trinket maker. Okay, we have to find a way to get our trade going. Um, Lord of Clan is there anything I need I can take off? I really don't need this. I want that wall, but I, I don't need it. That's just going to get me a rank 2 wall. Just let me double check. What kind of garrison do I have right now? I have a very good garrison right there. Right there. I do kind of want the drinking hall. And that's income. But that's a level 3 income. It's going to go... Hmm. What do we got over here? Tempelhof. Yeah, I do want to build that stuff. So Drakenhof is pretty safe right now. I need... I don't need the... I need the gold mine. I don't need the drinking hall. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay. I don't need the... I, this is this is income in this one turn. Would I rather have the reinforced gate? Let's just go and look. Okay. This reinforced gate, I'm, I'm going to basically go, f go uh, from dwarf warriors to long beards and improve and I'm gonna get cannonballs but I'm gonna have anything coming down here anytime soon in Drakenhof probably not Tempelhof is probably a little more vulnerable I do want to make sure I get walls up in Eschen and Waldenhof and Essen and I want to get this army going Ah, damn it. Difficult decisions here. Cause I gotta I gotta get down here with an army that can make a difference. I mean I could bring I could bring Ungram down here, but getting him all the way down here, then if chaos comes, I'm so far away. I am so far away at that point. Hmm. I wish I could see what these armies were made up of. Because this army is going to come down. It's going to be a full army, but it will be a bit weak, right? Oh, these are all bats. That's all trash. Can Ungram get there? No, of course not. Um, Ungram, I just want you to go here to Drakenhof. Okay. So you can deal with that... Uh, no. That right there. I want you to continue coming up here. I want you to continue coming up here. So I need... I have two, so I'm going to have 15 and three, so I need two more Dwarf Warriors. One, two. There we go. Or maybe I get a couple of Miners to get a little extra cheap and to have a small amount of Armor Piercing just for backline. support yeah, maybe I do that and get two miners I only have six dwarf warriors yeah let's get let's continue let's get the dwarf warriors I think yeah those will be better okay we're about to go into negative so I'm gonna this may be a bad choice we'll see I'm gonna cancel construction on the walls and we got enough gold to keep moving everything here. So I still have one level of gates here. So, you know, Dragon Dragonoff is not vulnerable. It's just a nice to have. Okay. These guys are getting two more. Perfect. And then I'll come across and I'll get my artillery. Meet up with these guys. And then I'll head down and go into Squighorn and Pillars. And I will start trying to get into fights here. And hopefully they do not do not take, take Karaza Karak. Hmm. Karak Kern. 
I mean, maybe if they do, Zilfbar will be their new capital, and then I'll be able to trade with them. I don't know. I, I, I want to help them take back the Silver Road in any case. That's dwarf territory. I mean, it's all dwarf territory, all the mountains, but one bit at a time is what we got to focus on. So we got enough gold to keep things moving. Is this going to reduce? No, this starts reducing the upkeep. Yeah, level three. So 1950. It's just recruitment and income. So we'll leave that be. I still have no idea why we're not trading with the Empire. I mean, it shows that we're yes. trading with them. And then when we go up here, we look at trade, it says we're obstructed. That's 3,600 gold. You know, I just don't get it. Obstructed, why what? Our capital isn't under siege. Nothing in here is under siege. Like, Talibheim. 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 Here's the border. Essen. Talibheim. Kemperbad. Oh, maybe it has to be Grunberg as well. And I'm, I can't trade across this river. But I'm connected. Oh, right. Okay, well, I guess it has to be both. Whatever the case is, damage buildings where, yeah, we'll let it go. Okay, Ungram's gonna go here. You're ready to go up north. Wait a minute, Portukova. Ah, okay, so it's just that iron. All right, uh, and we do got the walls on the go there. Good, good, good. Oh, let's take a look at this business here. Public order we're dealing with here. Public order is starting to go down here. We're just going to go to Untainted here. What about Karak Kadrin? Oh, we're going to have a we're going to have a rebellion even though we're trying to stave off that. And Gunbad, we are growing here, 20 points. So I'm just going to go to. I you know I don't. I don't think I'll need to. I think I'm going to be coming over here right away with this guy, Drakenhof, Untainted, and Essen. Uh, public order. Yeah, I know we want to grow here. Yeah, we already got that 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 going. So let's uh, let's get the Untainted going here. And Zavastra, we're Untainted up there. Okay, that's probably is good as I can get actually and we got some oath gold going oh and we got uh, let me see we got a hero over here there we go we should start I want to make sure I come out and meet uh, meet everyone out here okay good mm hmm so yeah Obastire is not a capital neither is the moot Workbat is a capital. Grenstadt is not a capital either, and neither is Schwarzhofen. So all the vampires are pretty bottled up right now. I do want to, again, I, I do want to make sure I fight oh, Isabella. I'd like to fight Isabella with all of my characters if I can to get that regeneration. All right, let's, I think that's as good as we can do right now. We should have enough gold to finish recruiting, recruit everything down here, and make it down here. And hopefully, hopefully... Empire settles Grunberg. Well, and maybe if we take uh, both of these uh, von Karstein settlements, we can find another way. Yeah, like if we take Grenstadt, take Schwarzhofen and Grenstadt, maybe we we create another path for us to trade. That's very possible. I mean, we could continue into Akendorf and go into Barak Var and get our port that way. I mean, kind of backdoor it. I mean, that's a certain, certainly a possibility. Uh, and we got, of course, we got all kinds of population sur surpluses right when we're tight on cash. <laughs> Why would it be any other way? Yeah, like we could come to Varenka Hills, Ackendorf, and actually build a path back into Krasakrak from this side. And then get our port down here in Barak Var. And we would have we could have a sitting army down here. That's not an awful idea. 
and then just hold Barak Var against the greenskins, and then we have our port. And then we could focus all of our forces. To, we could really stop there, hold that fort, and let the greenskins, or let the uh, let our dwarfkin expand south, and uh, potentially even come up and take these mountains too, because we'll have a path right to our capital. So they're all going to Obastire. All right, you guys do what you got to do. You're not going to be able to get that good of troops anymore, which is good. Yeah, but if I take Swartov and... Well, I don't need to fight Isabella with every one of my heroes. I just really want to. To get that regeneration, because it is so damn good. But I can get regeneration through my items now through the forge as well which that's not bad and I have a, a f yeah I have two items with ge regeneration already last defenders and court of liberis okay well that's going to be a fight and it looks like the southern the southern uh, rats have been wiped out so that's what it looks like to me Oh, maybe King Sectra is going to try and come and kill some of the vampire counts? I know they don't like them. Morglum back. Oh, for crying out loud. Frickin' greens. Frickin' goblins. God, I hate goblins. Morglum backstabber. I'm coming for you. Oh, are they going to attack here? Oh. Ah, they're probably going to try and stop my army. Block army failure. Yep, that's what he was trying to do. Now as he's freaking scaven. <laughs> Running away. Yep. There he goes. Huh. Addy, of course. He's probably just far enough so that I can't attack him twice. Cause because Skaven, right? Yeah. Failure. Yeah, defeat them for some oath gold, okay. Castle Drakenoff raiding, rebellion and peak pass. Oh yeah, right there. Public order in Western Sylvania. Whew. Yeah, we got some, we got some we got some stuff here for Ungram to do. Armed and ready. Yeah, see, I'm I'm not going to be able to get to him, of course. And he's just outside of reinforcement range, because you know. Skaven. Plan scheme is discordant. All right. What is this? Oh, no, that's total trash. Okay. Okay. Yes. I want you to kill him. Oh, we got our trade back. Do you notice that? Okay. Auto resolve. Done. That is happy news. Okay. Hey, kill him. Good job, Ungram. Uh, passive ability, pigeon plucker pendant for flying units. Well, that's whatever. Uh, I let's just go right now because that thing is not very useful. And just let's recycle it. Okay. And potion of strength, ward save. This missile resistance sort uh, that might actually be really good when I end up fighting the the uh, not magic resistance. Ah. Uh, could be handy, but uh, if I need to do that, if I need to get some more One rug. oath gold last minute, I'll, I'll get that. Okay, so we got damping done. Basically, we've got everything here that we want done. Uh, I would like to get Rune of Grimnir for the missile resistance. And then we'll get Cleanse Corruption, probably. Yeah, probably get Cleanse Corruption and R R Relentless for the speed. Yeah. Okay, now, where do I want to go with you? So we have a Rebellion here. Coming in Kara Kadrin. We have a Rebellion here, which I want to put down. Can I reach? I can. 
Do I want to? I want to let that happen. I think. I think I want to go here. That rebellion's happening next turn. Or do I let them? Ah, I don't want to. I definitely do not want to let them siege and stop my trade. We're not. Then I'll come back to Swartzhofen and deal with. Uh, get Swartzhofen, Grenstadt. Maybe I come through down to Akendorf, Ferenka Hills. And maybe they lose Karazakrak. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely do not want to lose my trade at this point, so we're going to go to Waldenhof and take advantage of that temporary or permanent piece. I mean, I don't know well how long it'll last. But yeah, so they obviously must have resettled this. Yeah, Grunberg is resettled, and we now have our trade again. Yeah, perfect. Making 3600 We're trading 84% of our idols, 60, 100%, 48, 66, 84, 100 percent and 32. So we're trading a hundred percent of our logs. So let's make sure we go build up our logs. Our lumber, I guess. So we'll get our timber mill. And we'll go back to our trade. What are, are we trading hundred percent of anything else? Trading hundred percent of our wine. And hundred percent of our iron. So I know we have iron up here. There we go, so we'll go and build that up, 3100. Um, let's see what else we gotta build here. Ah, a Waldenhofer Eschen. I would say Waldenhofer's further north, so if chaos comes down here, this will have walls first, so we'll get that done. And we're, now we have you where we want you. I'll get on it. Okay, put you right here. Now I'm going to get you to recruit two it's bolt throwers and a grudge thrower. Let me get you over here. And where's my thane? We're going to get you over here. Perfect. And then that army, was that going to be 18? Yep, that'll be done. Fairly cheap army, but it's going to have two bolt throwers and a grudge thrower. And we will go and support our kin in the south. Okay. Uh, damaged building. You know, maybe I want to repair that 2700. Damn it. 1200. Because that's going to give us some oath gold. It's not imminent rebellion where right there yeah we know we're ready for it imminent rebellion here and we know that so mr gunnison do we want to take this fight no need my warp token stash you know what what kind of think i do Maybe they retreat, maybe they don't. Like, they got a good army. Storm Vermin Halberds are, like, they're no joke. The Storm Vermin, regular Storm Vermin are worth 1,100. And then they got a ton of artillery and they have a Doom Wheel and Plague Claw Catapult. But I think I can, and they got a Hell Pit Abomination. Holy crap. <laughs> and is this a Gracie or yeah? Spellcaster, he has Blessed with Filth. Which we can't stop. Pestilent Breath, we can stop. And Plague Monk Sensor Bearer. Oh boy. I think we... Like, I don't know if we win this, but I think we gotta fight it, don't we? We have to. We, want, we wanted to have good fights with the Skaven in our last campaign, and we never got to, and now we have our chance. So we have got to take it, even if we lose this entire army. I don't care. We're going to have a hell of a fight right here. It's going to be a battle. <laughs> They're ready to fight. Oh, man, and it is close. <laughs> Holy, this is going to be a fight. We got a hell pit abomination, a hell of a lot of artillery. What does the battlefield look like? Where is it? Uh, scout terrain. Okay, it's pretty open, but I think I'll be able to bring my... I'm going to bring my Bugman's Rangers in from the back. Oh, man, this is going to be a fight. All right, I'm going to have a good think about this fight. 
I'll see you next time on our next episode of Unger Iron Fist Legendary Campaign where we're going to have our first real epic battle against the Skaven. Have a good one.